The Ghost Train of the Arizona Desert There are many stories of ghost trains chugging down America's tracks, but rare indeed must be stories of ghost trains that run where a real, iron and steel locomotive never has. Southeastern Arizona, though, is said to be haunted by such a train. The story is that a prospector was lost in the Alkali Flats north of Arizona's Dragoon Mountains. He left Tombstone planning to prospect in Dos Cabasas, 50 miles northeast. Now his burrow was dead and he was staggering across the flats of the white heat of the day. The odds were that he'd die there before sundown and his bones would be bleached in the hot Arizona sun. He must be going crazy, he must, because far off in the distance, he heard the clickety-clack of a train and the chug-chug of a steam locomotive. That's when he remembered. The ghost train, men, old miners, Mexicans, had told him about seeing a train on the flats where no train had ever really ran. No one knew why it was there. It never stopped. It just roared by and vanished into the desert sun. Now the prospector could hear a far off whistle. He squinted his alkali dusted eyes. Across the flats, shimmering in the midday mirage of the blue water, he saw a black speck coming towards him, getting bigger and bigger. Then, it was closing in on him. As it did, he could make out a headlight, a spark of light that looked strangely yellow in the remoteless white glare of the desert sun. Finally, he could make out the whole train, a black engine blowing a cloud of smoke and steam, pulling two yellow carriages. The train itself was old-fashioned, like something the prospector would remember in the Civil War days. The train looked like it was going to run him down and, sure enough, it began to toll its bell to warn him of the danger. The prospector tried to move, but he couldn't. He realized with a shock that he was too far gone to move, a victim of sunstroke, unlikely to survive another hour or two in the fierce heat. Just before the train would have hit him, the train stopped. The prospector couldn't believe what was happening next. As he passed out from the heat, strong hands seemed to lift him aboard the train. Someone stretched him out on the aisle of one of the passenger cars, and the last thing he remembered was baking the people aboard the train for water. Water was what woke him, water trickling over his face. His eyes opened. A strange man wearing a sheriff's badge was standing over him, holding a pitcher of water. Man, I found you five miles out of town, the sheriff said. You wouldn't have lasted another hour in that heat. Town? What town? The prospector asked. Wilcox, Arizona, the sheriff said. What are you, loco? The last thing the prospector remembered. He had been 20 or 30 miles away from Wilcox. He struggled up on his elbows. The train! The sheriff looked at him. There ain't no train around here, he said. The prospector eased himself back down. He thanked his lucky stars that the ghost train had decided to make its only ever stop for him. The Southern Pacific Railroad came to Arizona in 1880, running right through Wilcox. It even put in a branch into Tombstone, but Tombstone old-timers say that that ghost train still runs across the trackless Alkali Flats, where no railroad was ever built.